going to look at another poem by Walter de la Mer. He was the one who wrote the listener's poem, remember, earlier in the week. So this one is entitled Silver, and again what we're going to do is study this poem, see if we can understand what it's talking about. However, this one is quite complicated and there's lots of old-fashioned words in it. So we'll explore that at the end, we'll look at a little bit of punctuation as well. But first of all we're going to say, do we actually know what the story is that's being told here? So Mr Keaton again is going to read the Silver poem. Look, so it's called Silver. Slowly, silently, now the moon walks the night in her silver shoe. This way and that she peers and sees silver fruit upon silver tree. One by one the casements catch her beams beneath the silvery thatch. Couch in this kennel like a rock with cords of silver sleeps the dog. From their shadowy coat the white breast peep of doves in silver feathered sleep. A harvest mouse goes scampering by with silver claws and silver eyes. A moveless fish in the water gleams like silver reeds in a silver stream. Slowly, silently, now the moon walks the night in her silver shoe. This way and that she peers and sees silver fruit upon silver trees. One by one the casements catch her beams beneath the silvery thatch. Couch in his kennel like a log with paws of silver sleeps the dog. From their shadowy coat the white breast peep of doves in a silver in a silver feathered sleep. A harvest mouse goes scampering by with silver claws and silver eyes. A moveless fish in the water gleam like silver reeds. Silver stream. Yeah, definitely much clearer now that we've got that bit of understanding. Now, there is one wee thing that we want you to focus on because yesterday's lesson was on semicolons and that builds into what we're really focusing on your task today. So, you can see that this poem is actually. 
exactly really strange. It's just written as one long complex sentence. Remember, a complex sentence is a really detailed sentence. So why is it a long complex sentence? That's because if we look at the punctuation, there is only one full stop in the whole entire poem. So full stops do not come at the end of a sentence. So if there's only one, that means that actually the poet has written us all as one big long sentence. Now, if you did that in class with most pieces of work, I think we would know that actually you made a big mistake. But what the poet has done here is he's actually used other punctuation to prove that there was only the need for one more. So what you see here is two types of separation between parts of the sentence. So you have the semicolon which we looked at in yesterday's lesson and you have just a standard comma. Now we know that those are quite easy to confuse together but remember a semicolon is where you are separating a piece of a sentence and the extension to that sentence. So you're talking about the same thing you're just adding a little bit more detail on and that's why there's a semicolon to separate. So slowly, silently, those are taking breaks. That's why you have the comma there. Now the moon walks the night in her silver shoe. This way and that she peers and sees silver fruit upon silver tree. So the commas are separate and we just need a break or a small slight break. There's a separation in the description, but your semicolon here is still talking about the moon walking this way and that, having a look at different parts of the area around them. So that is why these are building extension commas. So you can see there is one, two, three, four, five, six semicolons. They are generally on alternate lines here and anything else punctuation wise in the poem is just a wee comma. Uh, and if you said, if you notice, sorry, Mr. Pete, if you notice the star every line has capital letters. Now that seems strange because the line that precedes it doesn't have a full stop often, but that's okay. In poems, you you have a bit more freedom to use um, your punctuation, your grammar in a different and uh, looser way. So the poet sets it up deliberately with capital letters all the way down there, even though there isn't full stop. Yeah. So what we're going to do in today's task is you're going to have this poem you want to see if you can add in the semicolon for us. Don't look back to the picture from yesterday um, and have a go at doing it on the screen there. Like see if you can divide it with the semicolons and give me a clue at where they will space here for this. Okay, good luck with that.